What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, Frankie Hardwork, and I am super duper back. How y'all feeling this evening? Uh, but I got more updates for y'all uh, concerning this uh, uh, Young Dolph uh, case. And um, it's about Justin Johnson, a.k.a. Straight Drop. This guy, man, he got a lot of stuff with him, man. He got a lot of stuff with him. And um, like I said in my last video, the stuff that he's been charged for, uh, it's crazy, man. It's, it's crazy. This dude is definitely a demon. And I'm not saying that respectfully. I'm not saying that to big him up. I'm not saying that to make it look like this or that. This guy is a demon, for real. So, I'm going to play this clip for you in a second with his charges. But, I have to say, you know what I mean? Some of his charges is pretty graphic. So, I'll take a listen to these charges or whatever, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. It's your boy. Easy. Crimes can have closure, and so that we as a community can have that closure as well. I wanted to take just a minute and um, clarify a few things regarding the criminal history of Justin Johnson. So you've heard that Cornelia Smith was indicted by the Shelby County Grand Jury yesterday. You've heard the charges that he had, was indicted on. As for Justin Johnson, in July of 2015, at the age of 17, he was charged with aggravated rape and aggravated robbery at the gunpoint. The victim in that case was a woman at an Econo Lodge. He was found delinquent. He was placed in the custody of the Department of Children's Services until his 19th birthday. Our office filed a transfer request in that case that was denied, and he was placed on the Violent Juvenile Sex Offender Registry. In January of 2017, January 31st to be specific, he shot three people at the Billy Hardwood Bowling Alley. And many of you all have covered that case. In February of 2017, he was arrested on that case after MPD solved it. In May of 2017, he pled guilty to five years concurrent for the shooting in the Billy Hardwood case. In November of 2017, he asked a criminal court judge to be released from that sentence and the judge granted that request. That was nine months of time on a five-year sentence. In May of 2018, he was arrested with a handgun and illegal drugs. The next day, he posted a $7,500 bond. A week later, he was arrested for violating the conditions of his probation on, with the new gun and the new drug case. Three days later, he posted a $15,000 bond on that violation of probation. He was indicted by the federal government in July of 2018 as part of a weekly and quite literally daily communication between our office and the U.S. Attorney's Office on all gun cases. You guys have covered stories and over the years of Project Safe Neighborhoods. And this indictment in this case was the work of that joint effort of federal, state, and local law enforcement coming together literally every week to review every gun arrest. And this case was indicted by the feds, as I mentioned, in July of 2018. His state bond was revoked in February of 2019. That same month, the state judge ordered that his sentence in the state court be run consecutive to any sentence that he may receive in the federal system. And in May of 2021, he had done his time in the federal system and was released from the Federal Bureau of Prisons. As for Cornelia Smith, he has a prior uh, from 2011, a criminal attempt to aggravated robbery and an aggravated assault for which he received a three-year sentence. So I hope that helps clarify. Our office has fielded a lot of questions and perhaps others of you in the room have as well about why Justin Johnson was out of custody. I hope this tells you why. And the short answer is because of the laws, because of the laws of the state of Tennessee uh, and because of the criminal justice system that we operate in every day. Um, again, he did nine months on a five-year sentence. He was entitled to ask the judge to be released, uh, and that request was granted. And he was on probation for those state charges, and that's when he picked up the federal cases as well. So. With that, I think we will open it up to questions. I'll turn it back over to Marshall Miller. But again, just want to say thank you to everybody in this room. So, yeah, man. So, yeah, so um, as you heard in this, uh, in, in Justin, uh, Justin Johnson charges, uh, AKA straight job charge, man. Like I said, this dude is a demon, man. He's a demon. As you can see, as you heard in the charges, man, he's, he's, um, it, it, 
I mean, this happened at a hotel. That situation where they pretty much talking about, you know, the um, the aggravated whatever situation. You know, I want to go through all that. You heard in the video, but it pretty much happened, and it happened in a hotel. You know what I mean? At gunpoint. You know what I mean? So so think about what type of savage this dude is. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm I'm not understanding what's going on, but see how the pattern would go with that dude, like. And I'm not even going to say with that, because that's not with everybody, but with, in this particular case with this dude right here, you know, people like this, they they not they don't get far in life. You understand? You out here doing this from the whip. You out here doing stuff to women, to women. And he actually have a, ha, actually ha, is, is, is a registered offender. He's a registered offender. I don't know if y'all heard that or not, but he's a registered offender. So that says a lot about him, man. That says more than enough. This dude is a straight demon. Straight demon. And if you listen to the... If you listen to the uh, press conference, you see they're trying to clear themselves up because they know that everybody is pretty much talking. Like, why was this dude on the street? And pretty much people are going to be looking like, well, you know, we, we should be suing this dude. Somebody could easily be like, we should be suing this dude. We shouldn't be out there. But when you heard, you heard what that, that prosecutor said, I think she's a prosecutor. You heard what she said. It's the laws. Honestly, if you're going to go after somebody, you got to go after them. And you got to go after the government people making them laws in, uh, in, tech, in Tennessee. You can literally walk around. With, with, with a bang on you all day. You can literally walk around with that on you. I mean, it's crazy. And, and, and there's no repercussions. I think it's like a fine or something like that. Something, something, not even something that serious. So you see that he, he did this and got bailed out. He did this and got bailed out. He did this and got bailed out. They even tried to push for something and they rejected him. So it's just the laws. Don't I mean, it's the, it's, I'm going to say it's just the laws. It's, 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 it is the laws. They so relaxed. They so relaxed on gun charges over there. It's crazy. You understand? So I can imagine the environment over there. I can imagine the environment over there when somebody, everybody next to you got one of them things on them and you don't know who and it's so relaxed, like they, anything, like you, you mess around, don't even get charged for it. So I can imagine that, man. Like I said, this dude was a straight demon and 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 for this dude to do the stuff that he's been accused of and he, and he actually, I mean, from what they're saying, he did it. You understand? And then they also said that when he went in, he just waived everything. He just want to get this, this supervised release. Because, you know, when you're in the feds, you get super, supervised release probation. You know, when you're in the feds, most of the time. You know what I'm saying? But for the most part, this dude, man, I want to know how y'all feel about this, man. This dude is a straight demon. And there's a lot of demons out here. And people gratify me. People, like, like, like make that like it's, oh, that's what's up. I'm a demon, this and that, this and that. And I know, man, I ain't the move, man. Like, demons go to hell. People need to understand that. Demons go to hell. Demons don't go to heaven, so people need to understand that. If you're going to play demons, just know demons go to hell. So y'all let me know how y'all feel about this, man, because it's disturbing to hear that, man. It really is, man. He was 17 when he did this. 17, and he kind of lodged. You know what I mean? Like, just think about that. So it's your boy Frankie Hard Work. Like I said, you know, got the apparel. Check me out. Sorry, I'm dope hats. You know what I'm saying? Got a nice amount of stuff going on here. We also got the hats and stuff like that. We got hoodies, everything. Hard work unit. So go check me out on IG at um, uh, IG at Frankie Hard Work One. And you can check me out also on my other page at Hard Work Uni underscore. All right. We ship. We do all that good stuff. We got great prices. We actually have a sale right now. So check your boy out. Y'all be good. All right.